All right, Shalom, Israel, Shalom, Shalom. You know, first and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And with this video, I'm going to show you how to glue fringes on the shirt through the spirit because we all understand, you know, everybody don't know how to sew. You know, that's not everybody telling. Everybody don't know how to sew. But we got to have fringes, numbers 15 and 38. The Lord commanded us to have fringes. This is another way to put fringes on your shirt. These are my first time. These are two shirts I done did. This is my first time ever gluing, you know, gluing fringes on a shirt. And it's not hard. It's not hard. You know, I just just want to put the idea out here. You know, put the idea out there because I know, you know, and, and, and sometimes, it, you know, sometimes you can't get to a um, to a sewing machine. So this is just another way to do it. I did this shirt as well, too. You know, so. And I added, it's just added, it's a design at the top. Cause I had some more fringes left over, so I like I might as well just add this to the back of the shirt. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to um how to put fringes on the shirt. So let me show you. the first thing you gotta have. I recommend that you have this E6000 glue. You know what I'm saying? I recommend you have the E. I got like four, four, four E6000 glue. I wouldn't recommend Gorilla glue because the Gorilla glue would make your shirt tight at the bottom. When it get hard, it makes it tight at the bottom. So I recommend. You know, just get the um the E6000 glue. Just get the E6000 glue and make sure that you have your um your ribbons. And I said I got different sizes of ribbons because you never know. It's according to how big the fringes is. However size the the fringes is, it's just it's whatever size the ribbon you gonna use, right? So you got that. Gotta have gotta have you gotta have your scissors. I got the small scissors, but you know bigger scissors might do the trick better. But I couldn't find my bigger scissors, so. It's a small scissors, you know, to be able to cut the fringes because the fringes might be too long. You kind of got to measure the shirt out to see, you know, how long um, the fringes got to be. Now you got to have your fringes. I got some gold, got them gold boys. You know what I'm saying? Got them gold boys. And you got to have the shirt. That's about it. Got to have the shirt. You know, I'm going to put fringes on this shirt. So, I'm going to have to move this out of the way. And also, also make sure you be careful because I kind of got glue on my, got glue on the bed. So, you kind of got to be careful with it. You don't want to waste the glue on the bed because it's going to be hard to kind of hard to get off. So, you got to kind of be extra careful. If I was you, I'd get like a, um, like a plastic bag to put the shirt on. So, if the glue do fall, it'll get on the plastic bag instead of the bed, right? So I'm finna come back. Okay, so this is what I'm finna do. Came back finna, um, basically finna, finna measure the fringes and see, you know, what part do I cut at? Where do it stop at? So you start, you put the fringes at the, uh, um, you will see right here when you get closer, let me move, let me move, the, let me move the camera a little closer. This is how you put the fringes. You see this part right here? At the bottom, you align the fringes up to that part like this. You, you'll put the fringes to that top of where it was sold at, and you'll put them up like this, right? So, so I'm finna see where do it, um, where it stop at, right? So let's get this, measure this thing out, boom. We'll start right here. Always put the ends to the front. Always put the ends to the front. So, boom, boom. So it starts right here. So to save fringes, I could take it all the way around to the back, but to you know to save more fringes, I'm just gonna cut it, and then just put just take. I'm gonna cut this. It start right here. I'm gonna cut it. Right, I'm gonna cut that, and then when I get to the back, I'm just gonna measure the back, which is gonna be the same as the front. And just put the same fringes on the back. That's how I'm gonna do it, instead of taking it all the way around, just to save fringes. You know, save fringes so I can have I could put some more on another shirt. Right? So make sure you measure that thing out. See it? Right? Alright, now see I got the fringes measured. So I know this is the fringes I'm gonna use for the front. So I can move it out of the way. So now I'm finna get the E six thousand glue and glue the front. 
like I said, you can put, you can put, you can get a, uh, a um, trash bag and put it under the shirt so you won't waste the glue on the bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the E6000 glue. Just put a little bit on the front. So you can put the um, printer on. Hold up. You don't really need too much glue because the fringe is not that big. If it was bigger fringes, you might it you might need it put a lot more glue. But you don't really need to put that much glue. Right? So boom. You just going over the glue. I mean, just going over the shirt where you're going to put the, um, just going over it where you're going to put the fringes that on the shirt. So now, get the fringes, put a little bit more glue right here. So now, you got the glue on there, now you just put the fringes on there. Simple. You like how you had on it the first time? You put them right back on there the same as that way with the glue at. Make sure you be careful with it though. Make sure that part at the end. Make sure that right there. Hold up. It don't the glue don't take that long to dry. You know, it, it don't take long to dry. So just make sure you cover the glue. It don't take long to dry at all. Alright, so you had that on there. Might have put a little bit too much. Add that on there like that. As you see, the glue kind of glue is kind of um drying up. I put a little bit too much glue right here in this spot right here in the, in the ends, but you know it'll be fine. Just push it down a little bit. It's gonna dry up. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend Gorilla Glue when putting fringes on your shirt because it'll get real real tight. So you don't really want to do that. So. You push it down and this like i said this glue don't take that long to dry up take like i say like eight minutes probably less than that to dry up don't take that long to dry up you know so i'm gonna come back to you with the ribbons with ribbon of blue all right so now it's time you know to measure the ribbon out because numbers 15 and 38 tells you that you have a you have to have a ribbon of blue on your fringes it don't say it don't say what color blue you have to have but it had to have a ribbon of blue at the top. Now, I can't use this one because this one's too big. This, these are made for bigger fringes. These are too big to put on this, on this board of these fringes. It's too big. But these two I can use. They're the same size. So I can use the, um, the light blue or the dark blue. I think I'm going to go with the light. I, I like this blue better. So I think I'm going to go with this blue this time. The next shirt, I might go with the other blue. So I'm going to use this blue. And you do the same as that thing you did with the fringes. You're going to measure them. You measure it to see where it stop at. Right here. And you see it start like right there. I don't know if you can see the move it on the camera. So it stops there. Then you just cut the fringes where it stopped at. And then you just see how it look right here. Perfect. Let me some string the tie wire. But yeah, go up there like that. Make sure it's even before you glue it. You're going in there like that. See that? Make sure it's set. 
Okay, then now you know, since you know that it's the right size, you can use this, you know, this ribbon for the fringes. Now you just glue the, you just glue the, um, the border, the, I mean, the top of the fringes, and then you put the ribbon on there. Okay, con, so we're gluing, we're gluing the top of the fringes. I would use the skinnier one because you don't want to get too much glue at the top. So I will use the skinnier E6000, you know, the skinnier tube. So you can um, put a little bit of glue at it, at the top of it. Let me go ahead and glue this thing up real quick. Let me go ahead and glue, glue this thing up real quick. All right, so now it's glued. You feel what I'm saying? It's, it's dried up. It's dried up. So this is the front. I have to do. I have to do the back, of course. But this is how the front looks. And if you see that, hold up. Right, so let's go ahead and get the back done.